fellas. Be number two. One kit challenge. We've got um, Sunday sermon by Mr. DTS David. Um, Three point eight percent bottle twenty first of the tenth twenty one. Let's get it open and have a look. A little tight on the cap, but there's some carbonation there. The bottle was quite uh, firm actually. Let's give it a pour. Lovely, lovely golden colour straight away. Place for lighting in here. Clear as. I'm going to stop short. Have a look in there. Looks like hmm, it's lagerish, wheat beerish, clearish. That's not a bad start, is it? Two finger, I'll say one and a half, um, mainly tight white bubbles. Looks creamy. Let's go for a smell. There's aroma there. You know what? I can't make out what it is. It's wheat. There's definitely wheat in there. It's that. You know, you get the. Not the big hoppy wheats like the um, commercial, but there's wheat in there definitely. Um, you can actually hear the carbonation streaming up there. It's not the same glass. We use the same glass for all of them. So it's non nucleated it's beer number two, 3.8%, looks appealing. There's wheat in there, but I can smell something else, I don't really know. It's not really familiar to, to myself, but uh, we'll dive in. Cheers, and cheers David. It's sharp, it's light. Refreshing. Um, I can detect, unlike some of them, the beers. I can detect that's that's a not overly, but it's a slight kit twang, should I say? And to me, a kit twang is not always a bad thing, but it's almost like a syrupy taste. Refreshing, it's sessionable, 3.8%. You could smash a few of those. Um, little bit of sweetness as well. Um, not overly sweet, but I reckon that finish probably a quite a high FG because there's some sweetness there. Perhaps, I don't know, didn't ferment down as fully as it might have done. But it's certainly nothing oh I'm almost getting a lemon type lime on the back so there's some citrus there um, is it a decent beer it's a very good beer um, not with toners unfortunately but mine won't be either, so that's not a, that's not a bad thing. Um, more like a light ale, I'd say. Um, but a keg full of that, you wouldn't go, go far. Probably more of a summer drink, if I'm honest. Carbonation attack. Um, so yeah, really nice beer. Very well done. Light on the body, nice looking. That head's staying around. We've got some lace in there as well. Un unusual for a, a kit beer, to be honest. Um, I'm liking that. I'll score it. Um, Tony's was nine. I did sort of the idea 8.5 to 9 
perhaps I was a bit high on that um, but it is what it is and that's gone now so I'm not going to change things I'm going to give this just short of 8 I'm going to give that a 7.8 that's a solid beer that really nice um, beer and the beauty of this challenge is as you fellas know is trying different beers uh, different ideas and I think to be honest I think darker beers do give themselves on the whole um, to kit beers because you don't get that you know, that's like twang because it's you've got heavy on the malts and you've got you've got licorice you've got chocolate you've got that um, heavy mouthfeel or medium to heavy mouthfeel and it coats your tongue and this is just this is more of a refreshing beer this is more of a summer beer but I've really enjoyed trying that um, if I'd made that I'd be more than happy and that's the kind of thing I would like on the keg 3.8% you smash a few of those wouldn't you so cheers fellas cheers daily again mentioned to David's wife had because she helps him doing the brews and uh, really fantastic woman so I'm going to upload this video to YouTube now and put it to the WhatsApp group we've got going and um, tomorrow's is Mark's um, entrant it's Mark Crew Wolf so I look forward to that um, might do it tonight and then upload tomorrow I'm not so sure but um, I'll save her this it's just just really good fun there's no prize it's just you know but um cheers and uh catch you later